Ever get sucked into those stories online? The ones that are so strange and fascinating, you just have to know more. Yeah, like those rabbit holes you go down. Exactly. Well, get ready to dive in because today we're talking about internet celebrity culture, strategic relationships, and... Um, chicken chops. Oh, there are definitely chicken chops involved, don't worry. But seriously, we're unpacking this whole saga with, well, he's an A-lister, Andrew Garfield. Right, the amazing Spider-Man, Hacksaw Ridge. He's got that whole Oscar-nominated thing going on. And then there's Amelia de Moldenberg, this internet personality, who's kind of famous for being, well... Intentionally awkward. Yeah, that's her whole thing on her show, Chicken Shop Date. It's like she's leaned into all the most cringe parts of a first date, but somehow makes it hilarious. And it works. Because mm. it's that awkwardness that makes people feel like they're in on the joke. You yeah. Know? Like, we're all in on this weird, uncomfortable experience together, except it's with celebrities. Which I think is the other genius part. You've got these A-listers who are used to, like, fancy interviews, red carpets, the whole nine yards. Yeah, exactly. And suddenly they're in this greasy spoon chicken shop trying to make small talk over chicken wings. It's like she's leveling the playing field a bit. Yeah, exactly. It's like no matter how famous you are, everyone's a little awkward on a first date. And speaking of awkward... We have to talk about this Andrew Garfield situation. Oh, here we go. The slow burn heard around the internet. Because this wasn't just like one interview and done. This was a whole two-year flirtation that played out online for everyone to see. Which, again, I think comes back to her genius. She's a master at creating these meta narratives. You know, it's not just about the interview itself. It's about the will they, won't they that, that happens around it. It's like she's dropping these little breadcrumbs of flirtation and the internet is eating it up. Like, yeah. remember that GQ Men of the Year awards back in 2022? Oh, yeah. Red carpet. Cameras catch them having this moment. And it was electric. You could tell he was smitten. And of course, the internet exploded. Because that's the other thing. She knows how to use social media to her advantage. Hmm. She'll retweet fan edits, drive little comments and interviews. It's all very calculated to keep people talking. And build that anticipation, right? Like, are they going to have a chicken shop date? Are they going to address the elephant in the room? And just when the hype was starting to die down, bam! The 2023 Golden Globes rolls around. And who's back for another round of playful banter on the red carpet? It's like they knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, they definitely knew. Yeah. Especially Andrew. He even joked that he was scared of where a real date with her would lead. Come on, how can you say that and not expect the internet to lose its mind? Right. So at that point, it was like, okay, they have to have a chicken shop date now. The people demand it. The question is, could it possibly live up to the hype? Okay, so after two years of online flirting, will they or won't they, we finally get the episode everyone's been waiting for. No pressure or anything. Right. Like, how do you even live up to that level of yeah. hype? Well, I think the fact that they lean into it so hard is part of what makes it so brilliant. Oh, they totally know what they're doing. Because from the moment he sits down, Garfield's like, hey, <laughs> I've been avoiding you. The vibes are too much. Which, come on, that is gold D. It's self-aware. It's playful. It lets you know right away that this is not your typical interview. And it just gets better from there because they're constantly playing with this line between what's real and what's, you well, know. Performance. Exactly. Like, are they really into each other or is this all just for the cameras? Which honestly kind of reflects how a lot of people interact these days, right? Especially online. A hundred percent. Like, we're all curating our own personas to some extent. Okay, but back to Andrew and Amelia because I feel like there were definitely moments where I was like, wait, is this real? Oh, totally. The glances the almost touches, even the way they're positioned towards each other. It's all very deliberate. When you say almost touches. Oh, like when they both reach for the ketchup bottle at the same time and their hands brush. Oh my gosh, yes. Or when he like touches her arm while he's laughing. It's those little things. They're yeah. so quick you could almost miss them, but they're loaded with subtext, especially given the context. And this is what I love about this kind of deep dive because it's not just about summarizing what happened. It's about understanding why it worked so well. Totally. Like, she's not just accidentally creating these situations. She's directing the whole thing. She's like the puppet master of awkward flirtation. Exactly. And he's playing his part perfectly, too. Okay, so we've talked about the nonverbal stuff, but what about the things they actually said? Well, at one point, Garfield actually says that they could have had a real date off camera if it wasn't for the show. Which is such a good line because it plays into both of their personas. Right. He gets to be the keen suitor. She gets to maintain her in-control persona. 
it's perfect. Plus, you know, he's been leaning into this whole vulnerable heartthrob thing lately, and this plays into that perfectly. You know, that reminds me, we didn't talk much about his overall strategy for this appearance. Because let's be real, he's playing a role here too. Oh, 100%. So how would you describe his approach? Hmm. It's interesting because he used to be more known for those brooding, intense roles, but lately he's shown a softer side. Which, let's be real, is a very calculated move. But it's working for him because it makes him seem more relatable. And when you juxtapose that with her whole awkward persona, it's comedy gold. It's like they're in on the joke, but they also want us to think maybe, just maybe, there's something real there. Which brings us to the most important question of all, did they actually go on a date after the cameras stopped rolling? So the big question, did they or didn't they? And the answer is... Oh, come on, don't leave me hanging. I'm not. I'm just setting the stage because the ending is... Perfectly ambiguous. Exactly. It's like they knew we'd be expecting some big romantic gesture. Which would have been so cliche. And totally not on brand for either of them. Right. So instead, they give us a whole lot of nothing. But, like, in a good way. It's that we'll see maybe sometime kind of vibe with a healthy dose of looking right at the camera like we know what you want and we're not giving it to you which honestly is the best possible outcome because it keeps the speculation going keeps people talking and that's the goal right to create something that people will analyze and debate and rewatch endlessly which kind of brings us back to that whole idea of authenticity versus performance oh yeah because yeah. they're playing with our expectations of what a date should look like. And how people should act. Especially in the public eye. Because, let's be real, we're all performing to some extent, right? Oh, yeah, especially online. Like, our Instagram selves are not our real selves. No one's posting their breakdowns over burnt toast. Exactly. It's all about presenting the best, most curated version of yourself. Which Andrew and Amelia did brilliantly, even within this intentionally awkward setting. They turned a chicken shop date into a master class on persona and self-promotion. So what's the takeaway here? Aside from like the power of a good ketchup bottle placement. I think it's about understanding how to craft your own narrative, mm -hmm. even in the smallest interactions. Knowing your audience. And leaving them wanting more. Because anticipation is a powerful pool. Whether you're a celebrity trying to go viral or just someone hoping to make a good first impression. It's all about strategy. And a little bit of mystery. Never heard anyone either. That's the truth. Well, I think we've successfully unpacked this whole saga, haven't we? I'd say so. We've covered everything from chicken shops to meta narratives to the art of the almost touch. It's been a wild ride, but hey, that's what deep dives are all about, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Taking a seemingly simple topic and really digging in to the layers beneath the surface. And who knew we could learn so much from a plate of chicken wings? Until next time, happy deep diving, everyone.